If you play Wright Patterson Mahjong and you have a set at home, you can practice making quick decisions during the Charleston by doing an exercise that I call Charleston Sprints. It's a great way to get ready for a tournament. If you are new to Wright Patterson Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. Let's get to these sprints, see how I do today. I have all my tiles out and they've been mixed. I've got my stopwatch here. We're going to do five laps. Laps one, three, and five will be the sprints and laps two and four will be set up. We're going to say we're the dealer for these. So I'm going to take 14 tiles. And I made a mock Charleston. This is just for practice. Oh, let's roll for prevailing. I rolled a three. So three is west. All right, here we go. I want to try to make decisions in under two minutes for an advanced player. For intermediate players, go for three minutes. And for beginners, I'd say four minutes. Okay, I see a lot of terminals. Ones and nines, look at these. I think I would go for an honor hand here. Look at that eight. And we have a pung of dots. I think I would hold the dot. Okay, let's throw these three. Honor, right there. Okay, let's discard one of each suit. No honors there. Let's do one of each suit. Oh my gosh, I hope nobody would ever do that, but we did pick up an honor and we have four discards. I'd say that was pretty good Charleston. Four discards, I think that's a good rule of thumb. Here we have a pung and a pair. I would just gather as many terminals and honors as I could. Probably if I had to pick a hand, I'd play Termination or Terminus. Let me just read those to you. Termination is number 67 on page 25. Four pungs of terminals and a pair of Windsor Dragons. So we would need to pair one of those up. And of course we need to pair up these honors or terminals here. Again, terminals are ones and nines. And then another one we could maybe play is um, Terminus, number 65 on page 25. That would be three pungs of terminals with news. We've got the makings of news there. And we have one pung right here. We could pung that and pair up and pung. So I would just gather honors and terminals, see how it goes. Get rid of these first. If you would have done something different, right? Sprint one and what you would do differently. I rolled an 11. Eight, nine, 10, 11 is We're east, we have a pair of east here. Let's see if we can use them. I don't know. We have a lot of two, three, four, five. Two, three, four. Look at all the two, three, four here. I'm thinking little chows. Four, three, four, maybe double numbers. Threes with threes and fours. Let's get rid of the south and mix this up a little. Let's pass these three. I'm thinking either little chows or double numbers. Okay, there's a two and a five. Now we have lots of cracks here. Let's pass two, four, two, four. Let's pass these three. Maybe double numbers with twos and fours. Oh my goodness. Okay, we got a red dragon. Ooh, Eleanor. Eleanor, two, uh, we can get rid of that. 
let's see here two four we can get rid of the two and uh, let's see two four no I want to keep the two four in case double numbers comes in let's pass these three okay a crack east and green okay so lap all right so I think I would try for maybe Windy Gates. I mean, it would be a long shot, but we could try. Windy Gates is number 34 on page 21. That would leverage these Easts here. 111 with a sequence of 2 through 9 or 999 with a sequence of 1 through 8 with own or prevailing wind. We would have to throw both of those away. Yeah, that's a bummer. That was not a good Charleston at all. That was a terrible Charleston. I think what I would do to recover here is switch again to Betty because we have winds and dragons and we have two pair of simples. That would leave four discards. I would probably switch to Betty or all cracks to recover from that debacle. Okay, one more. I rolled an eight, so that would be north. Yikes. We've got quite a mixture here. One, two, seven, eight, one, three, six, one, eight. Oh my goodness, this is terrible. I was thinking we could do a mixed suit hand, but we've got a mixture of evens and odds within. This is not good. Not good at all. Okay, we have to pick something. One, two, seven, eight versus a pair in here. I think we'll go with the pair. Break this up. Okay, let's let's go for bams. There's a bam and a west. Keep winds and dragons if you're going for one suit. Let's let's pass these three. There are a lot of hands that use numbered tiles with winds and dragons. Okay, we got two bams. Not bad. Let's pass these three. A little risky being all consecutive like that. Oh, nothing. Terrible. Lap. Okay, so this time we can't play Betty because look, we got a pung of ones. I think I would try for probably either Windy Gates or Dragon Gates. We're east. We have a west and a south and it's north. Our north is prevailing, so we can't really use those right there. I would say we have six discards. This was not a good Charleston, but I would try for Dragon Gates. Dragon Gates is number 33 on page 21. 111 with a sequence of two through eight with one tile paired or 999 with a sequence of two through eight. So really this is what we have to work with. We have seven discards. That's atrocious. Okay, let's see how things went with time. I think I did make it, but gosh, some of those were terrible. The starting lineups were horrible. Okay, let's see. And that happens sometimes. You just have to have a really good pick and discard phase of the game. I think one of them might have been good. But anyway, lap one, one minute, seven seconds. Lap two, one minute, 36. Lap three, one minute, 27. So I made it for timing, but a couple of those were really not very good results, I think. And I, I don't think I could have done better. I don't know. I'll have to watch the repost on this one. Maybe I could have made better choices. If you would have done anything differently for any of those, just write which, which um, sprint you would do something different for and put it in the comment section. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, click subscribe. Click the bell when you do. 
That way you get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss any opportunities to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight of the game that might give you an advantage at the table between now and the next Charleston Sprints for Wright Patterson Mahjong. May all your picks be keepers.